Hello guys! In this part of this tutorial, I will solve 10 very common issues or questions that usually happens to beginners in AutoCAD. Let's start! I cannot trim some sections of lines. One common issue that beginners may have is when using the common trim to take out some sections of lines. Sometimes we want to delete a specific section and it doesn't work, like this one. Then I click again and it still doesn't cut and sometimes it gets a bit frustrating. And the thing is that this simply happened because after trimming this part of the line, that line remains only this and we cannot use the common trim to delete entire lines. So just press escape, select the line and press delete. Sometimes the things are too simple that we don't get it that first time. I insert an external image, but the dimensions are not correct. To insert an external image, I will click in the tab Insert and then in this icon Attach. Now I select the image that I want, this one, now I click in OK. After I click again where I want to have the image and the scale factor. It doesn't matter for now, so I press enter. So, for most of the cases, the image won't be with the correct dimensions, which means that I have to scale it. I'm going to activate the command scale by typing SC. I select the image and press enter. I will specify a base point, for example this one, and then I will use a reference. I type R, and because I know this distance is 2 km, I will choose these two points and specify the new length between them. I will click first, more or less in the middle, here. Of course, this is not extremely precise, but it should be enough for most of the cases. After I click in the second point and enter the new distance. It's two kilometers, so I will type 2000, as I consider I'm working in meters. So here you have scaled properly. I will use the command distance, I type TI, to check that this distance here is now 2000. Then I can measure everything I want. For example, the distance between here till this side of the island is a bit less of 5 kilometers. How to offset a close boundary with only one click, like it happens here. A lot of beginner users have this issue. We activate the command offset then I try to select all my objects, but I can't, it's not working. And I can only do for each line independently. Basically, what I need is to convert my lines to a single polyline. And I will do it with a command join. I activate the command. I select all my lines. Then I press enter. And now I convert this to a polyline. So, now if I activate the command offset again, I can finally offset all in one simple click. Here you have. Selection cycling. Sometimes it happens that we have objects overlapped, like we can see now in this drawing. For example, if I want to select the line that is in this side, I try to click on it, but instead it keeps selecting the door. Now, if you look at the button, there is an icon here that can help us with this. It's the selection cycling. I'm going to activate it. And then if I try again to select the line, this window appears here, showing the objects that are overlapped, the block, which is the door, and the line. 
so just click online to select it. Now I'm going to show you an issue that happened to me and I believe also to a lot of people. If I go to the layer properties and I want to change the line weight for one of the layers, this one for example. Now I will change it for a thicker one, this one, clicking OK and if I look to the stairs it looks like that the lines didn't change. And this happened because AutoCAD, by default, shows all the lines with the same weight in the model space. But if I want to print a drawing, they will appear exactly as I specify. However, if I want to see the line weights in my model space, just click in this icon there. How can I hide the viewport? When I want to print a drawing from the layout section, by default the viewport outline will also appear in the paper. But I don't want it. How should I proceed? Easy. I'm going to the layer properties manager and I will create a new layer just for the viewport. I will name it as viewport. Press enter. Then I will select my viewport and I go here to this tab to change the layer to the new one I just created. After I just click again on this tab and then click in the sun to freeze the layer. Now as you see it's not appearing anymore and I can proceed to print the drawing. I insert the hatch pattern, but it looks solid. This one is very common. I'm going to activate the command hatch. Then I want to use uh, one pattern, for example, this one here. And then I want to apply the hatch to this room. So I click on it and press enter. But, as you see, this is only one color. It looks like the pattern didn't work. Instead, if I zoom in, I'm able to see now the pattern, but very small and would not appear in the paper. However, the problem is only related with the scale. If you look here, you can see the scale is set as 1, which is very small for this drawing, as this distance is 2600. Then I'm going to change it to, for example, 100. And now you can see it looks better. Basically, when you have this kind of problem, just change the scale. The dashed green line is not appearing. When I use object snap points for drawing the next object, this dashed green line will guide me to place the next line with precision. The problem is when I try to do it, that line is not appearing. So I, I cannot place the next line with precision. And if it happens, it's because the object snap tracking is deactivated. So go to this icon and click on it. Finally, I can see that is now tracking the object snap points. Dynamic input. This happened to me a few times and then I was clicking everywhere to fix it. So do you see these labels here? Then you may click in an icon that you don't know its function and later you realize that they don't appear anymore. As it's in this situation that I cannot see the label there. But to fix it back, it's very easy. I'm going to click in this icon with the bars at the drawing status bar. And everything that has a tick on it means that it's displayed on the bar. And this time what I need is the dynamic uh, input. And I click to add it to the bar. And this is what is responsible for appearing the labels. So I'm going to activate it again. And now, if I draw a line, 
I can see the labels appearing again. Issue with object snap icons. Imagine that I have this drawing here and I want to draw this line with the distance of 100 millimeters from the top. So normally I activate the command line, I hover the endpoint and drag the pointer down and then type 100 and press enter. Very good. The problem is that sometimes when I'm dragging down, this green icon appears here and it represents the mode nearest. So if I type now 100, the start point of the new line will be somewhere else. And what I should do in these cases is clicking on the object snap icon there and unselect the mode nearest by clicking here. Now, if I repeat the process, I activate the line, I go to this endpoint, and when I drag it down, I can see this label extension, and it's the right moment to enter the distance. As you see, it worked. Then just type the distance of my desired line. Another fast tip. I'm inserting a dimension line here. Then I want to move the label a bit to the right, for example here, and when I click, it didn't go to the place that I want. And this happened because the endpoint was shown in the moment that I click, and the dimension line was attracted to this place. Then what I should do is easy. Just click when only when the endpoint is not displayed. Like for example, now. A last situation in this section. I want to draw a small arc in this part of the toilet. I will click in the command arc, three point arc, and then when I want to pick the first point, it is snapping to this midpoint or to the endpoint there. So how can I do it? Also because if I deactivate the object snap, the arc might not start from the intersection of the two objects. So if I go again to the icon of object snap, and now I can activate the mode nearest, because it's going to be useful here. I go again, and now I can click, for example, this point, and the third point, I will place it there where I see the icon nearest. And also by clicking now, I'm sure that both objects will be intersected. So it's everything in this video. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cut in Black to watch all the full list of tutorials of AutoCAD. Also, I can provide online private lessons. Just check the details on my channel page or send me an email to cutinblood at gmail.com. So thank you and see you next time.